This is ABC 15 Mornings. Airports expected to be packed today. We're seeing unruly behavior on a rise. Will everyone be on their best behavior as planes are at full capacity? Millions hitting the road. America has reopened and along with it, gasoline demand has really surged. Gas prices hitting while it's hard. Dinner, it's also a bit pricier. At least. 50 to 75 hours more. But there's encouraging news when it comes to inflation. Delivery times. I usually, when I'm requesting it that day or within the next couple hours, that it screws up like that. The Let Joe Know team putting two of the biggest retailers to the test. I think a lot of people wondering, right? Amazon, Walmart, oh, yeah. which one's better? It's worth your money. Especially with all those delays out there. Yes. Now, speaking of delays, after a short one, Arizona Snowball and Flagstaff opening up the season today, and we are so excited. You know, you might remember they had to push things back because they didn't get any snow from Mother Nature, and crews at the resort have now been busy making fresh powder, but they had to wait for that as well, Jorge, because Mother Nature had to decide when she wanted to cool things down. And she finally did. Better late than never. Temperatures up in the high country have been on the frigid side finally, so enough to allow them to open up some runs uh, later on today. So we're excited for that. But as far as what's happening now in Desert Doppler, fairly quiet, has some very, very light sprinkles and also a few flurries up in a snowball earlier yesterday. Now fairly uh, tranquil up in the high country, but it's a little more active as you head towards southeast Arizona with one lone shower right along the 10 there in Cochise County uh, moving to the east. So watch out for some slick roads if you're heading that way this morning. Here in the valley, it is cloudy and it is dry for the time being temperatures in the lower 60s and the planner for the rest of your getaway Wednesday showing those temperatures eventually reaching the mid 70s, which is where we should be for this time of year and coming up in your most accurate forecast. We'll tell you if this cooling trend will stick around for Thanksgiving, Black Friday and for the next seven days too. But first, a check on those morning roads and well, very active this morning, isn't it? Once again, Megan. It sure is. And that ADOT camera moving live with us now. We do not control those cameras. It appears they're trying to get a better view of this crash that I want to tell you about. It's the I-10 westbound near 24th Street, where they're trying to get a view of this crash. Now blocking the HOV lane. There's all those flashing lights that they're looking to show, along with some of the backup that is building because of this one. The HOV lane is blocked in this area as they work to clear this crash and try to figure out how to get it out of the roadway itself. Your speed's dropping to about 32 miles per hour through this stretch with that orange now building on our maps with that one. So checking your desert drive time from the I-10 westbound from the 202 Santan as you're making your way to the split on average, you look pretty good. You're going to start to hit the brakes as you approach that crash. Your drive time, at least at this point in the morning, is right around 11 minutes. And one more hazard to tell you about. You cannot get on the freeway there and the I-10 westbound near Chandler Boulevard due to a police situation. It appears that a semi is stalled blocking that area. We'll let you know when that reopens, but you can take Ray Road in the meantime, Kaylee. Okay, well, as we wake you up here on one of the busy travel, travel days of the year busiest, you're not going to be alone if you're headed to the airport. More than 2 million people are expected to fly today. Airlines preparing for most planes to be at full capacity. They want everyone to remember that masks are still required seeing unruly behavior on a rise so we want to make sure that we're working um, and communicating effectively but also understanding that there's mandates well both the tsa and the airlines say that they've bulked up when it comes to staffing and they are also insisting that everybody just be ready for a surge. Airport officials recommend arriving at least two hours before your flight. Although we saw that traffic back up last night, I think a lot of those people were hoping that they gave themselves even more time. Yeah, my goodness. Well, today marks day three of the strike happening at Sky Harbor. This is going to impact anybody going through terminals three and four. So the big ones are the workers with HMS hosts include servers, bartenders, dishwashers and cooks that work for the airport concessions there. So if you're taking an Uber or Lyft to the airport, be ready to pay more. Rideshare prices are up across the nation. Uber has gone up 100% since it rolled out and Lyft 100% above that. Experts say the older, cheaper rate will likely never come back. Mm. And they say they've even seen cab rates lower than rideshares at times. Wow. wow. Yep. Okay. Providing meals to thousands of families here in the Valley. This is going to be the final day to pick up for your Thanksgiving Day feast at St. Mary's Food Bank ahead of tomorrow. And on Tuesday, I want to let you know this. They've been busy. They handed out more than 3,500 food boxes. And as you can see, the lines were very long, at times up to two miles long.
604, it's too late to buy frozen turkey, but you're not out of luck just yet. Local businesses are busy filling those last minute orders before Thanksgiving, and you might be able to find something. We're lucky to have people working well into the holiday, right? Our Jamie Warren joins us now from South Phoenix, and you're sharing how this shop is gearing up today. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So I just spoke with the head butcher here at the meat shop in South Phoenix. He tells me, unfortunately, all of their turkey orders are pretty much booked, but there are some other options and yes they are open today in fact guys are already in the back getting things started for what will be a very busy day i spoke with david grant as he was working to fill 150 turkey orders now that may not be a lot for a big store but for only having five employees let's just say things are pretty hectic for them their business is farm to table, which means their turkeys are raised here in Arizona. And Grant says they've been increasing the number of orders they do every year because more people are wanting to shop local. In fact, he says the pandemic brought more people than ever to their shop, and many of them have since become regular customers. We've gained a lot of new customers because we the, the product of the, the uh, consistency of it and the quality of it. And then a lot of people moved here. And with the shortage now, we've noticed a lot of people coming in here trying it out for the first time. So you heard him mention shortage there. You've probably heard about some of the supply chain issues when it comes to beef, chicken, and other meat products. But I'm told that hasn't exactly been an issue for them. So in the next half hour, I will explain how exactly they've been able to work around all of that and how that is able to now make them be able to provide for a lot more families this holiday. Nick? Yeah, I mean, we know they're very busy. Silver lining, though, we're glad to see a local business get supported. After work today, a lot of people are going to be cleaning the house, preparing the kitchen, getting ready for family and friends. Sound familiar? Still recommended you wear a mask inside of a gathering. And of course, wash your hands often. If it's warm enough, maybe eat outside, especially here in Arizona. Last year was tough on everyone, so this year people are looking to reconnect safely. It's really hard to explain how sad it was in the ICU last year, seeing loved ones, you know, really pass away from holiday gatherings. And so you want to minimize the odds of that at all. But having a mostly vaccinated household um, is really the main way uh, to make those risks almost negligible. Remember, up to a half of people with COVID won't have any symptoms. So you can't assume just because you're not feeling anything that you don't have the virus. School, as you know, it's out for the holiday, but it comes as Maricopa County reports 281 schools with COVID-19 outbreaks. And the County Health Department is launching a new program. It's aimed at keeping kids in the classroom. We've talked about it here on ABC 15 Mornings. It's called Test to Stay. And this lets unvaccinated students go to school. And after being exposed to someone with COVID, they can continue to go if the student was wearing a mask at the time of exposure. They have no symptoms and receive three negative COVID tests. Well, Thanksgiving, it is a great time to be thinking about all we're grateful for in life. And for students at Whittier Elementary in Mesa, it's not what they're thankful for this year, but who? What are you thankful for, Mario? I'm thankful for my family and my grandma because they always give me some loving and they feed me and take care of me. Well, that's nice of them, huh? I'm thankful for my mom and my daddy, even my puppies. Oh, you have a puppy. What's your puppy's name? Dallas and Yellow. Dallas and Yellow. Are they big dogs? One is big and one is small. Uh-huh. Do they sleep on your bed with you? Bella, what are you thankful for with your doggies? What you, why, do you, why are you thankful for your doggies? Because they because they gave me love and they're always and they always they're, and I always see them. Next on ABC 15 Mornings, the U.S. Department of Defense putting a group together to investigate UFOs. Shopping online for the holidays, we put delivery services to the test. Plus, how about getting paid thousands of dollars and free streaming for a year? We share what could be your dream job. And taking you live outside with our AOT cameras, a scene on the I-10 westbound near 24th Street at the Salt River Bridge. We could see 
Now, multiple lanes are blocked, the HOV lane and the far left lane due to a crash. So we'll check your desert drive times in this area. Still ahead. It's 612 Arizona as we take a look at your top stories. More charges are expected against the suspect in the Wisconsin parade tragedy from over the weekend. A child has died and that brings the death toll in this case to six. Daryl Brooks is facing five charges of first degree intentional homicide and those charges carry a mandatory life sentence if he is convicted. Jurors will continue deliberating in the Ahmad Arbery murder trial today. Prosecutors wrapping up closing arguments saying the three men can't claim self-defense since they were the aggressors. But the defense argues Arbery fought back while they tried to make a citizen's arrest. A federal jury in Ohio ruling CVS, Walmart and Walgreens pharmacies recklessly distributed pain pills in two counties that caused hundreds of overdose deaths and cost billions of dollars. A federal judge will determine how much the pharmacies must pay in damages in the spring. And the Pentagon wants to streamline the way it looks into reports of UFO sightings. The Defense Department plans to create a centralized group to handle this, and that group will standardize the process of documenting sightings. ABC 15 Desert Drive Time. Sponsored by Accident Law Group. 613 now on your Wednesday morning in this crash. I've been telling you about going from bad to worse. We're seeing what appears to be more lanes blocked on the left hand side, the HOV lane, the far left lane. This is the scene that we're tracking multiple flashing lights, multiple first responders out on the scene. This is I-10 westbound near 24th Street here near the Salt River Bridge. Now traffic is moving along to the right, but very slow and go in this area on those westbound lanes, but also the eastbound lanes. As I go to your traffic maps, we're seeing both sides of the freeway impacted by this. Many people looking over to see what's going on. Please stay focused on the roadway. We do not want another crash in this area, and we have reached out to DPS here at ABC 15 to see what's going on there, see if there are any injuries involved in this one and when it will be cleared up. So I-10 westbound near 24th Street, the HOV lane is blocked. It appears more left lanes are blocked and your speeds dropping on those westbound lanes below 15 miles per hour. On the other side, the eastbound lanes right around 32 miles per hour. Your drive time from the 202 Santan rather to the split is right around 17 minutes. We do still have this hazard to I-10 westbound. The on-ramp is blocked at Chandler Boulevard. Your alternate would be to take Ray Road. Now let's get a check of that most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jorge Torres. Thank you, Megan. Busy morning there in the traffic department and here in the weather department. Fairly quiet now compared to yesterday with a lot of cloud cover. In fact, Right now, Phoenix is tied with Miami as far as the warm spot in the lower 48 right now. Of course, it'll change here in the next several hours, but cold up to the north of cold, of course, but not really too bad there in Jackson, Wyoming. Now at 20 degrees, Chicago uh, barely shy of 40 degrees to start off this getaway Wednesday morning. 60 there in San Antonio and 45 there in New Mexico. So we are keeping an eye on some lingering shower activity and even snow in the White Mountains of far eastern Arizona. That disturbance is moving away from the state and in its place clearing conditions, and we are expecting a little more cloud cover once again today, just partly cloudy, not cloudy like yesterday. Right now it is 30 in Flagstaff, 25 at the Grand Canyon, 57 in Bullhead City, where today the big concern will be the wind. Really going to be howling right around midday or so, with gusts potentially around 40 miles per hour in this part of the state uh, later today. Uh, same as you head toward Lake Havasu, too. Southern Arizona right now, we're in the mid-50s. A wind speed fairly light for the majority of the state, but as I mentioned, that will change later today. In fact, there is a wind advisory that takes effect at 9 in the morning right along the Colorado from Lake Mead all the way down to Lake Havasu. As far as future cast goes for the next several hours, some lingering clouds, as I mentioned, and perhaps a few pockets of isolated showers east and southeast of the valley in places like Pinal County and now toward Graham, Greenlee and Cochise counties too. And even right around the Old Pueblo can't rule out a few lingering showers tonight. Otherwise, a pleasant Wednesday with temperatures in the 40s up north in Flagstaff, 50s along the rim, 60s there in Sedona and 70s from Lake Havasu down to Yuma along with Gila Bend and here in the valley calling for a high of 74. Your 70 forecast showing temperatures warming up a little bit for your Thanksgiving. High of 76 with some breezes here in the Phoenix Metro too. Black Friday warming up to near 80 degrees and for Saturday a big event happening. The Territorial Cup here in Tempe. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s to kick off the weekend and we say in the 70s through next week. Meanwhile, in the high country, 40s today and for Thanksgiving. For Friday, we're back in the 50s with abundant sunshine and uh, staying on the mild side this weekend and early next week with highs in the 50s and lows below freezing. 
617 shopping online this holiday season. You may want to think about those delivery times, even if you're promised next day or same day delivery. All new for you this morning. Our Let You Know team putting two of the biggest retailers to the test to see if they meet those deadlines. Amazon Prime is very popular. Two day shipping and other services for 120 bucks a year. Add a few dollars for faster expedited shipping and get items within a four hour window, often the same day. That's where we've heard issues, items delayed or never showing up. It only happens I usually when I'm requesting it that day or within the next couple hours that it screws up like that. At $98 a year, Walmart Plus launched late last year, saying they offer the same two-day shipping and even same-day delivery. In their case, no extra fee expedited service. We put both deliveries to the test. We ordered three items on different days to see what would show up and when. On a Tuesday, diapers needed quickly. We paid extra for Amazon's expedited delivery, and it worked. Amazon delivered same day, 20 minutes into their four-hour window. Walmart Plus said items would be available same day, but when added to the cart, the quickest option was the next day. With no specific time, they showed up around 2.30. On Saturday, last-minute party supplies. We again paid Amazon $2.99 more for expedited delivery, and they delivered same day, an hour and a half before the promised four-hour window even started. A comparable option on Walmart wasn't available. Lastly, we wanted to see if what happened to Angie would happen to us. I'm actually waiting for a phone case. I paid the $2.99 because I didn't want my son to break his phone. She paid the extra Amazon fee for expedited delivery, but says she never got the case. Sunday afternoon, we ordered a phone case, paid for the faster service, and were promised a Monday delivery between 7 and 11 a.m. It arrived at 728. With Walmart Plus, after adding to cart, things changed. We had to choose a deliver from store option. The soonest window was next day between 5 and 6 p.m., not same day, as it said on the items listing. It showed up at 457. So items did come faster if you paid for Amazon's expedited service that wasn't offered through the Walmart plan. With Walmart, it was confusing. Delivery options changed as you move things into the cart. Amazon says they calculate delivery times on how far you live from a fulfillment center. So update the address to get more accurate estimates. Walmart didn't return our request for comment. Go to abc15.com slash let you know for all the ways to protect yourself while holiday shopping. I'm investigator Joe Deuce. You got a problem? Let me know. Here comes ABC 15's Operation Santa Claus. Well, hopefully that song puts a little pep in your step too today. We are collecting money, toys, kids' clothing, and non-perishable food items right now for five great charities. Drop off donations at Sanderson Ford or Lincoln, any Valley UPS store. You can also donate online at givetotheclaws.com. For every donation, you'll be entered to win a new Ford or Lincoln, courtesy of Sanderson Ford and Sanderson Lincoln. Ahead at 625, feel the burn after this holiday weekend. A special workout class lands on your Wednesday morning bulletin board. Then from farm to table at 634, why going local may actually help you when it comes to those supply chain issues. At 645, how about some holiday fun? We'll go live out to the Desert Botanical Gardens. And at 647, Jorge Torres is back with your super seven day forecast. Six twenty-three, a Valley man doing everything he can to try and find a kidney donor this morning. Nino DiGiulio lives in Mesa and drives about an hour to Casa Grande for his work as a realtor. He decided to put his email address on the tailgate of his truck, asking if somebody out there is a match. He says he wants to be able to stop dialysis treatments that he has to do nine hours each week. I talk to my sister and my mom every single day, and so getting a new kidney would allow me to have that freedom and not have like that leash of the dialysis machine. I can go and come wherever I want. Nino says he already received an offer from a person who turned out to be too young to be a donor, but he is confident he will find a match. Well, if you are already thinking about burning those Thanksgiving Day calories, today's bulletin board is all about a remix for your exercise routine with fitness in the district. This is a 60 minute workout class at Westgate. It's completely free and it's happening Tuesday night from 645 to 730. It's going to be cool too because you got to wear your neon. The theme is glow up, so it'll take you straight back to, you know, wake me up before you go go and the 80s. OK, you look super hot. You don't need to take along any equipment or weights. You are encouraged, though, to bring along your own mat. Refreshments are going to be provided, too. So you want more information on this? Just head to westgateaz.com fitness, helping you feel the burn 
That's today's bulletin board. Well, who doesn't love a good holiday movie? But do you think you could spend an entire day watching them? Depends on the weather. Right? Right. Could you do a whole day? I think so. Yeah, under a blanket if it's yeah. cool. Why, Why not? not? Yeah. Why not? So reviews.org hopes that you will. They're going to pay someone 2500 bucks to watch 25 holiday movies. And after each one, you just fill out a survey. You got to tell them what you think of the film. Winners are going to get a year-long subscription to seven different streaming services, including Netflix, Hulu, and Disney+. Plus. Some of the movies include Home Alone, Elf, A Christmas Story. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Love Actually. <laughs> And the Grinch. That's not too shabby. A lot of classics on that list. Yes. Yep. Next at 6.30, holiday travel is back across Arizona and the country. So we're going to get an update on weather conditions as so many of you are preparing to head out. It is going to be a busy day as a local butcher shop finishes up those last minute turkey orders. So still ahead, I'll tell you why they say they're able to fill more orders this year compared to last. And trail rides on horseback, a brewery, a farmer's market, even a glamping campground. These are just some of the attractions one Arizona town hopes will help create its new identity after being known only as a polygamous town. And we still have some lingering clouds across the valley and across the state too, but cooler temperatures will stick around for this getaway Wednesday. How does it look for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and for the next seven days too? The answer coming up in your super seven-day forecast.